Hi guys, my name is Blair Gemsicum and welcome to a walkthrough of the Sims Free Play Need for Steed quest. This quest unlocks at level 11 in the game. You can complete it later than level 11, but it will only unlock at level 11 and you have to have completed any previous quests before you get this pop-up. As soon as this quest is available for you to do, you will get this pop-up. So don't panic, don't worry about it if you're on level 19 or something and you haven't had this pop-up. As soon as you've completed enough quests to be able to do this one, you will get this quest and you'll be able to do it. So this is a time limited quest and you have two days in which to complete this quest. As always with these time limited quests there is a prize for completing it within the time limit but you will also unlock something by completing it if you complete it outside the time limit. So once you get this pop up, horses have been spotted on Mystery Island. Give them a home and your sims will be able to care for them. So the limited time prize for this is this rainbow powered unicorn painting so if you complete it within the two days that is what you will win if you complete it after the two days or whenever you will complete this quest to gain horses and brand new area for your sims to interact with them so by completing this quest you will unlock horses first thing that we need to do is to spot horses with a telescope do your sims eyes deceive them or is that a horse wandering around between the trees best check to be sure Tap a telescope and choose look for horse. Note, you can get a telescope from the Promotions R Us store located on the town map. So we need to go back to the town map. We are currently on Mystery Island. So if you get to this quest and you have not yet built your Promotions R Us store, like me, you're probably going to have run into a little bit of trouble in completing this within the time limit. So the Promotions R Us store is over on the town map over here by the park going to have to go and build that. For me it takes 12 hours, it's going to cost me 7,500 and I need 6 sims to do it but that would be different depending upon how many houses and how many buildings you've already got in your town. So I'm going to get the Promotions R Us store built. I have now built the Promotions R Us store so go ahead and click on the Promotions R Us store and you need to buy a telescope that costs 3,490. So just click on it, it will come down here into your cart and then click on buy yes to purchase once you've done that it will go into your infantry in your home store go into your home store into your infantry and in the hobby and career items tab you will have your telescope and then you can just go ahead and place it down make sure that the little arrow is somewhere that your sim can access so if you place it like that up against the wall as you can see the sim won't be able to access it so make sure you've got a spare square where the little arrow is once you've placed it down, go ahead and click on it and look for a horse for five minutes. We have finished spotting horses with a telescope. The next thing that we need to do is to go to Mystery Island. There's the horse near that volcano. Your sim should go over for a closer look. Go to Mystery Island. So if you click on your kind of little... I don't know, it's like a church house building thing there. You've got your Sim Town Circle now and you've got your Mystery Island. So go ahead and click on the Mystery Island. And there we go, task completed. Go to Mystery Island. Now we need to spot the overgrown stables. Interesting, it seems there's a whole stable near the volcano. Or at least there used to be. It's very run down and overgrown. So you better bring your Sim inside and start building. Tap on the stables icon near the volcano. So it is flashing for you just there. So here's the big volcano in the centre of the island and this is the stables which is flashing and also obviously got a horse, a rider and a horse on. You go ahead and click on that. Task completed, spot the overgrown stables. So stables, the stables are your ticket to ride. Care for horses, enter horse riding events and bring the stables back to their former glory. We can't build the stables apparently because the requirements for it are need for steed quest complete and to reach level 11 which level 11 we have reached but we haven't completed the need for steed quest. So fair enough. Let's see. The next thing we need to do is to call the mystery mysterious number. What? The gate is locked. But what's this? A note is attached to the gate with a phone number written on it. Perhaps it's the owner's number. Go home and call the mysterious number on a phone. Once at home, find your phone and call the mysterious number for 1 minute and 48 seconds. We have finished on the phone. The next thing that we need to do is to read a horse care manual. The sim on the other end of the phone said that the stables belongs to them. And there's no way that they'll just give it over to someone like your sim who doesn't understand horses and how much love they need. Read a horse care manual. You can find it on a bookshelf. That is a very sensible 
view to take. Let's go ahead and click our bookshelf and this is a two star bookshelf and this takes 11 hours and 30 minutes. And the next thing you need to do is to call a mysterious number again. Now your sim has a great understanding of what goes into horse care, call the sims back to convince them that your sim knows what they're doing. Call a mysterious number again. Let's go back and click on our phone. Call mysterious number is 4 minutes and 30 seconds. We finished the call to the mysterious number. The next thing that we need to go ahead and do is to look up a locksmith on a computer. The stables owner says that he'll give your sim a chance to prove themselves, but they don't have the keys to the place anymore. You'll need to get to the locks you'll need to get a locksmith down there pronto. Search for a good locksmith on the internet using a computer. So click on our computer, this is a two star computer, and look up locksmith for seven minutes and twelve seconds. Now we need to build the stables. Perfect! The locksmith sure could talk, but is finally ready to head to the stables and get the gate open. Now it's time to head down there, build the stables. So we need to go back over to Mysterious Island, and your stables there again is flashing, so go ahead and click on it. And for me, this is going to take me 9 hours 30 minutes. It'll cost 15,000. I need 7 sims. The stables are your ticket to ride, care for horses, enter horse riding events and bring the stables back to their former glory. So I haven't got seven sims nor have I got 15,000 so I'm going to go ahead and get that money and add a new sim into my town and then I'm going to build the stables. The stables has now been built so when it's finished it will just, you'll get a pop up to tell you it is finished and also it will be flashing like this so go ahead and click on it. And there we go, task complete, build the stables. So the next thing we need to do is to send a sim to the stables, success. Now call a sim to the stables, so go ahead and click inside the stables and then use your sim tracker to whistle over a sim. And that is task complete, send sim to the stables. Now we need to clean up mess in front of yard. Well, the barn is built but not much else and what a mess. The yard beside the barn is blocked by a big oil drum. Have a sim, get it out the way. Tap on the oil drum and choose remove. So if you are not sure, it does guide you with an exclamation mark, but it is over this way here, and remove that for four minutes. We've finished cleaning up the mess in front of the yard. The next thing that we need to go ahead and do is have four sims at the stables. Excellent, that's gotten the yard open, but there's a lot of mess inside. Too much for one sim to handle. Call over some friends to help out. Have four sims at the stables. So go back into your sim tracker and just whistle over three more of your sims and have four sims at the table at the table at the stables is completed now we need to clean up mess in yard with your sims now there's a few eager hands ready to help out let's get cracking clean up all of the mess inside the yard using your four sims so a tip for this is yes it does tell you to use four sims but of course you can use more sims so if you've got more spare call them over because it will just help you out in terms of getting it done quickly. It will also guide you like what you need to click on so like for example here you've got an item that you can go ahead and click on that is four hours. I would suggest the way to go about this is start depending on how many sims you've got available to help you complete this um, but I would suggest that you find the items that take the longest to clear first. So maybe just ignore the exclamation marks. I mean, by all means, you can go ahead and use the exclamation marks to help you. But I would say go ahead and repair the water trough first. That takes 10 hours. And then just click around. So that only takes 30 seconds. So, I mean, we can do that whilst we're looking around. 1 hour 30, 7 hours. So that is a long time. So we'll remove this large rock pile for 7 hours. So we'll leave them clearing up the garden. These are all the sims that I have spare at the moment. We have two more things, I think, that we need to clear. So a little bit of time has passed and we are back over at the stables and some of the sims have completed their little tasks. So there are a few more things that need doing. So the weeds, which are five minutes, and these thistles, which are 30 minutes, and I think that is all. Yeah, that is all that needs doing. So we're just going to leave them until they have all finished. So the longest task for cleaning up this area of the stables was 10 hours. So if you can have enough sims over here to, to be doing them all at the same time, then it, this will take you 10 hours, this particular task. They've all finished with their cleaning up now. So that is task complete. Clean up mess in the yard with your sims. Oh, and we have leveled up 
to level 12. So now we need to watch the horse channel. Wonderful. In order to get the hobbies operational, your sims will need to do a lot of clearing and tidying up like this. Now, before your sims think about getting a horse, they really need to be schooled in the art of horse care and proper animal treatment. There's a fantastic horse channel on TV that would be perfect to watch. Have a sim watch the horse channel on a TV. So let's head back home. So click on the TV and watch horse channel. Takes nine minutes with this two star TV. Finished watching the horse channel, the next thing that we need to go ahead and do is practice brushing on another sim. One of the best things about owning a horse is brushing its long mane. It can be very therapeutic, but it still requires some careful technique. Have a sim practice their brushing skills on another sim. Go on, they won't mind. So let's click on another sim and practice brushing their top right for three minutes. I really like this um, like interaction, so we'll wait to see it for a little second. Look, he like pretends to be a horse and then she uh, she is brushing his back. We finished practicing brushing on another sim. The next thing you need to do is to encourage a sim. What beautiful brushing. Horses also love encouragement and attention. Have a sim encourage another sim to make sure they have the hang of this. Encourage a sim. So let's click on our other sim. Where's she gone? There she is. Click on her and practice encouraging for four minutes. We've finished encouraging a sim. Now we need to repair a stable. Almost ready for your new neighbour. <laughs> First your horse will need somewhere to hang its horseshoes for the night though. Go to the stables then tap on the barn stable to start repairing it. So back over at Mystery Island, go ahead and click on the stable and then inside the barn here We've got a stable, this takes one hour, five minutes, costs 30,000. Fix this barn stable to keep another horse at the stables. Once your stable is complete, you will get a pop-up to tell you your new stable is complete. Time to have some fun. So let's head back over to Mystery Island. Go inside the stable. And once we're inside the stable, go ahead and click there. Task complete, repair a stable. Next thing you need to do is to call the stable's owner back. To own more horses, your sims will need to repair more of the barn. Let's see what the owner of the stables thinks now. Call the mysterious number again. Let's head back home. And then using our phone, we need to call mysterious number 1 minute 48 seconds. We have called the stable's owner back. Let's see what he had to say. Wonderful. The stable's owner is pleased as punch with your sim's efforts. Because of all your hard work, the stables are yours. It's time to introduce the horse to their new home. Tap on the icon over the repaired barn stable and choose the horse. So you need to go back over to the stable and we need to add a horse to the stable. And then once you're in the stables, go over to the barn and there's kind of like a plus horse little icon there. Click on that. And you will get the option. You can buy a dappled grey for 15,000 or a patched brown for 10 SP. They are the only horses you can buy at the moment. Horses are ranked kind of like items are uh, with one to three stars. These are the one star ones. And then to get the two star or the three star horses, you have to complete different hobbies. So at the moment, We'll just go ahead and we will buy a dappled grey for 15,000. Of course, you can buy the patched brown for 10 SP if you would like. Would you like to buy this? Yes, we would. Task completed. Add a horse to the stable. Oh, look at our first little horse. Cute. Now we need to feed the horse. How exciting. Your sims have their very first horse, but something's wrong. See how the horse's head is down? It looks sad. Oh, whenever a horse is sad, your sims can feed pat and groom it to raise its happiness level. Have a sim feed the horse. Note, you can see the horse's happiness level by tapping on the horse. It's right under the horse's name. So this is the same for all pets in the game. They have a happiness level. So let's bring a sim over by clicking on the sim tracker and whistling a sim over and then if we click on the horse, as you can see, his name is Reginald Trample Muffin. His happiness bar is right the way down. He is very, very sad at the moment. You want that all the way up being a full green bar to get him really happy. But we wanted to feed the horse for six minutes and five seconds. As you can see, you can ride, rename, pet horse, groom horse, and do various different hobbies with them as well. But for now, we're just going to feed the horse. 
There we go, we have finished feeding the horse and congratulations, your sims can now keep, care for and ride their very own horses. Now repair and clear the hobby areas in the stables to enter your horses in tricks, vaulting and show jumping hobbies. So we have unlocked those various different hobbies now for the horses. And then because we completed it within the time limit, your enthusiasm for horses has not gone unnoticed. So treat yourself to this fabulous painting of the ultimate horse, a unicorn, hang it up in your horsiest sims homes. So the prizes for this quest, by just completing this quest in any given time, we unlock, of course, the stables and the ability to have horses and plus the horse hobbies. There are three different hobbies. You can only do one hobby to begin with, but that is a bit more complicated. I won't go, gonna go into in this video. But yeah, we can now have horses, as you can see. We can add, add various horses to our town, or to our stables, I should say. At the moment, we've only got two because we need to complete different hobbies. And our prize for completing the quest within the time limit is this magical unicorn painting which you can find in the decorations tab in the home store and it costs 10,000 simoleons to uh, to buy it personally. I think maybe it's not, I mean, it's quite nice but it doesn't really, it doesn't do anything, it's just kind of a painting to kind of look at. So I wouldn't stress too much about completing this within the given time limit because this is kind of all you win, although it's a nice picture. The next quest that becomes available to us is a quest for toddlers. So join me for that soon. I'll put a link on the screen now or down below in the description box once it is done if you want to go ahead and check that out. But thanks so much for watching this video. Go ahead and thumbs up if you enjoyed it. If you have got any questions about the quest or about anything to do with Sims 3 Play really, just leave them down below and either myself or another Simmer can maybe help you out. If you are struggling, I will link a blog post down below that you can have a little read of it may help you out with some little tips or something but thank you so much for watching subscribe if you're new to the channel and i will see you guys soon bye